how do you find the salary range of the job that you want? In today's video, I'm showing you how to do salary research 101 so that you can get the salary that you're looking for and avoid being underpaid in your next job offer. Hey, what's going on my friend? My name is Alvin and today I'm showing you the exact steps that I used when I was applying to jobs as an engineer and an engineering project manager. Now, more than ever, it is so important to level set and manage expectations with salaries so that you're not being underpaid every single year at the company you're working for. If you underestimate your annual salary by $10,000 to $20,000, this significantly affects how much higher your salary could have been, especially when you've already been working at that company for a few years. You never want to leave money on the table, so do your salary research first before you apply to any jobs. If you find out that others in a similar role are being paid $60,000 a year and you're only being paid $30,000 a year, then you're going to know for a fact that you're being underpaid. So don't make that mistake. Now I have a personal story that I want to share with you and hopefully this is something that you can learn from and relate to. At the time, I had just graduated college and I'd worked in my very first engineering role as a junior engineer for about a year. I was talking with one of my close college friends about our jobs and I told him, hey, by any chance, could you share with me a ballpark range of how much you're making? I just wanted to make sure that I'm not being underpaid. And it was that day that I realized I was being significantly underpaid and why it's so important to research and negotiate your salary during your interviews. But before you can negotiate your salary, you need to research what is the salary for the position and the industry you're applying to. So let's talk a little bit about Salary Research 101. There are quite a few factors that influence how much salary a company will give you, namely your industry, your location, education and experience, and of course the company size. Now, once you've figured all this out, you need to ask yourself three simple questions. Number one, what is your target salary? Number two, what would be your dream salary? And third, what is the lowest salary that you would walk away from the job offer because it does not meet your expectations? So let me share with you my personal secret. I like to use three websites to do my own salary research first before I apply to any jobs. It's Glassdoor, salary.com and payscale. I recommend registering completely for free to any of these websites so you can access their database and do your own salary research. Now let me show you how to do that. With Glassdoor, I'll use a salaries feature and then I'll search for the job title. For our example here, let's search for the job title of senior project manager in the city of San Francisco, California. Glassdoor will automatically show you the most likely salary range from low to the high end. Here, it says that a senior project manager makes anywhere between $117,000 to $183,000 with a total pay estimated to be $145,860. Keep in mind that these numbers represent the median. Repeating this entire research using salary.com, we see here that a project manager at level three position earns anywhere between $109,000 to $169,000 with a median salary of $138,198. Using Payscale and researching for a senior project manager role within engineering, the position pays anywhere between $123,000 to $194,000 with a median salary of $150,000. So, so far, we've collected information from three websites. And what I like to do next is to input all of this data into an Excel table so we can do our own analysis. When we plot this data into a graph, we can see a general rise in salary from low to high, with the median values targeting right around $150,000 and the high end anywhere from $150,000 to a little less than $200,000. The next step that I like to do is to calculate the average among all three websites for the low, median, and high range. And we see here that on the low end, the average is $116,382. For the median, the average is $144,682. 
And on the high end, the salary average is $182,150. So with all this information, target your desired salary range between the median to the high end to make sure that you're not being underpaid and also so you're maximizing the annual salary that you're receiving. So let me repeat that one more time because this is the most important takeaway from this video. Do not target the lower end of the salary range, otherwise you're leaving money on the table. Do yourself a favor and target your desired salary range between the median to the high end of a salary range so that you can maximize your salary offer and to make sure that you're being paid what you're worth. By the way, if you gain a lot of value so far out of this video, make sure to smash that like button for me. It shows your support and it helps me out to grow the channel even more so I can make even better and higher quality videos just like this. Now when you start applying to jobs, now you have a ballpark of what salary range to expect before you even start interviewing. And you can of course negotiate your salary range based upon your years of experience, your subject matter expertise, your educational level. So do you have a bachelor's, a master's, an MBA, or a PhD, and any relevant certifications that you have. I hope that all of my advice helps you advance your career so you can finally earn the income that you deserve. I appreciate you so much and I definitely couldn't do this without all of your support. Now if you've already started applying to different companies, watch this video next to learn the biggest red flags that you should avoid on job descriptions and I'll see you in the next video.